Hey, so I heard you're going off to college now. Wow. Only a month or two ago, you were walking the loud hallways with your closest friends, laughing, smiling, holding tightly on the straps of your worn out backpack, looking like a normal high schooler. Well, you may look the same and feel the same, but now you're moving thousands of miles away, away from your friends, away from family, away from home. And it's exciting to think about at first, thinking of all the freedom you'll have, the new people you'll meet. But then you realize all the responsibilities ahead of you. You're gonna have to start taking care of yourself without your parents constantly reminding you to clean your room or to eat healthy. All the things that you hated hearing, well, now you see why. Those inspirational quotes that you hastily listened to, like how your fate and your future is all determined by you, it's now scary. Because at the moment, it just feels too real. But before you panic, just listen to what I'm about to say. Because I know you forget things easily and you usually can't listen to your own advice. If you haven't left yet, don't just stay in. As much as you're going to visit, you don't have much time to spend with the people who are around you right now. Whether it's your family, friends, or your dog. The reason they're still here is because they're the reason you're here. So don't be lazy. Text your friends back and stop being a brat to your parents. You're not 12 anymore. Same with when you go to college. Go out and meet new people. Not just other students. Make relationships with your professors, the janitors, the cafeteria lady. Whether it's for making friends or for business, it's up to you to put yourself out there. Live healthy. You don't have to follow the outdated college stereotype of eating ramen every day. Your academic and career goals won't matter if you don't take care of yourself. And don't use your hard-working mindset as an excuse to overwork yourself anymore because no one cares. It's more admirable to be getting things done while managing your time. Balance is a good thing. Have fun, but know your limits. You've calmed down a bit because you're older now, but you're still young, so just chill sometimes, okay? Call your parents. There's no such thing as you don't have time. Your parents raised you for 18 years and you can't take a few minutes to ask how they're doing? Mm -mm. You are going into an unpredictable career path, which means you're going to have to put in the work. When others fail 10 times and give up, fail 11 times, 12 times, 20 times, until you succeed. Yeah. Let's go. Others, even the people closest to you, may stop believing in you from your lack of progress. But if you give up too soon, you'll never know if you could have succeeded after one more failure. Life is too short for regrets, so keep doing what you want to do. Take a minute every day to be thankful. Whenever you complain to me, it's so annoying because I don't think you really understand how grateful you should be. Take a minute to realize who's in your life, where you are in your life, and why you're here. I'm just gonna add one more thing because I don't know when I'll get to talk to you like this again, but as I said before, you are in control of your life. Where you go and what you do is now all up to you. No training wheels, no floaties, no one is responsible for what you do. I truly believe in you. And wherever it is, I know you'll get there. It's just you against the world, kid. Good luck and keep in touch. Yeah.